Hello and welcome, PML fans. I'm your host, Zamora Gaming here, and we are waiting for YouTube to officially pick up our live stream. So I'll be just one second. Three, two, one, go! And we are live on YouTube officially. It says the last six seconds have been recorded, but just to be safe. Hello and welcome. Zamora Gaming fans, I'm your host, Zamora Gaming here, and obviously we're continuing our Nuzlocke of Pokemon Shield, and a brief recap of our team is what we'll be going over right now. So we have Obstagoon, who is Kiss, who I evolved off screen, of course, I told you last uh, recording, and um, also just for a recap of real quick. Um, episode 5 of this stream is not going to be, how should I say, it's not going to be updated on the YouTube channel because for some reason YouTube does not want that video to be on the air. I don't know, I've tried to upload it many times, many ways, in multiple different ways and it just does not want to capture on YouTube, so, I mean... Unless you were lucky enough to catch the live stream of that, uh, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> YouTube does not want me to have that uploaded as a regular video, so, I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. But, obviously, we beat the water gym, we beat the fire gym, and last episode, it, that uploaded, we beat the ghost gym, and now we're we have the team that we have now. And we're going to work our way on beating the fairy gym and whatever gym comes next. So, um, we have Kiss, the Obstagoon. We have Conquer, the Berserker. We have Scrappy, the Beware. We have Elvis, the Car Carcoal. We have Sod, System of a Down. The Toxtricity, because the toxicity of our city is the song. <clears throat> and then we have Lumiere, who's not ready to evolve yet, but... It will evolve eventually. And when it does, we will evolve it into a beautiful lantern. And we're going to try to keep it alive until then. So, here we are. Uh, we did do our encounter here. I do not remember what we caught. Um, I do believe if I check here, it will show us what we caught here. And, oh yeah, there we go. We caught Tiny Dancer, Spritzy. Elton John, shout out. <clears throat> and we're going to go ahead and move on. And... Oh yeah, that's right. We beat the gym, but we didn't do the story. So we got to go and complete the story. Before we continue on with anything else. And as I do that, I'm going to go ahead and share. Oh man. I'm going to go ahead and share the link in Facebook, so hopefully everyone can join in on the fun. And here we go. I'm going to go straight to where the story is, and obviously we just beat the ghost gym, because this is shield, and not sword. If it was sword, we would beat Bea, who is Bay, and that's not what happened, so... Obviously, there's the mural with the flowers and whatnot. Destroy it! Destroy it all! We are going to find those wishing stars. Raj! Copper Raj is ready to destroy some shit. We've got to bring the chairman more wishing stars if we want to please him. If you're truly the chairman's Pokemon, then you should feel gratitude this chance to help him. Find the wishing stars. And, of course, um, he convinces Kaparaja to destroy the mural, and as we move forward, that's gonna, that is what's going to happen. Oh my, you again. So, you think that you can start collecting wishing stars now and get the chairman's favor? That's the way, thing, that's the way of things, is it? I see. So, do you have some cunning in you? But I won't have it. I won't allow it. Anyone to stand in my way. Obviously, he has a hard on for the chairman, and he ain't gonna let me get in between that, so he's ready to battle. 
so he's gonna send out Duosion. Obviously, right now he's a psychic type trainer. Kiss is one of our top Pokemon right now, and we're clearly gonna take advantage of it. So Duosion goes down. And thank you everyone for who's watching. Um, I really appreciate it. And I noticed someone left a like. Thank you very much. Uh, please do like, subscribe, and you will get every notification of when my videos go live or if I go live. And then we have Hatchroom coming in. And we're going to keep Obstacle in because I accidentally clicked the B button. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to go ahead and Night Slash again. His Pokemon level 35, so we are pretty much on level. Alright, he goes Dazzling Gleam, doesn't do damage. Well, it does damage, but not enough. So, we get to stay alive there. And we're going to go ahead for another Night Slash, and we take it out. Goddamn Hyper Potion. Alright, so he's going to go ahead and send out Ponyta. And... He has a psych it's psychic type. So, I mean, honestly, I'd rather not risk <clears throat> putting any other team members in danger. We already have... <clears throat> we already have Kiss out and about. So, super, uh, not super Slash. Night Slash it is, and it should do the damage it needs to do to take out the Pokemon in front of us. And the other team members are gaining uh, EXP. I have to win this for the chairman. Do you really think I'd let you win? I don't think you'd let me win, but I'm gonna kick your ass regardless. Whew. And also, guys, how are y'all enjoying the new DLC of Pokemon that has released? I am loving it, and I will certainly be doing the DLC here on YouTube. Um, if not with Morgan, I will be doing it myself. Uh, as you also know that me and Morgan have our playthrough going on. Um. Oh, here we go. Karkle's evolving. Elvis is gonna rock and roll, baby. Um, but also, there we go. Fully evolved Colossal. So we add that to the Pokedex, and away we go. Tar Shot. Let's see what that is. I've heard of that move, but I have yet to actually access it to my... Repertoire. Okay, so it lowers the target's speed stat, but I become weaker to fire types. i rather not. i just rather not right now. But anyway... As I was saying, um, Morgan's doing his thing, I'm doing my thing, and we're clearly working our way through here, and if Morgan is too busy, we'll do the Isle of Armor on Shield and access the Pokemon we can, where we can. Complete the Pokedex. I've been doing it on Sword on my own time, and I have pretty much completed the whole Dex. I just have maybe one or two Pokemon I can access. But, it'll be done. Ah, Sonya and Joe. Two, terribly shame. All this, an absolute disaster. I never wish to see the loose challenges after this sort of reason. Yet, we do what we must to keep fair and sportsmanlike. Go choke your little fuck buddy over there and do what you gotta do. But that's not that's not what's going on over here, sir. And obviously, the screen loads to show more story, and the whole thing is broken down regardless of the copyright that was there. Not a brilliant turn of events, but ruins were brought into the light for us to say. What does this tell us about the Galar? A sword and a shield. I don't know, bitch. Uh, you tell me. You're the expert. Right, more than any hero, there are those things that appear to be Pokemon and stand out. Not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and a shield as if they were using them. 
<clears throat> Anything else look interesting to you? The hero was two people. Oh, good observation. There really were two heroes. But if that's the case, then why only the one statue at the Boudoop drop in? <laughs> Fake news, that's why. More than any statue of a hero or old tapestry, these ruins must in truly ancient times must show us the true, the real truth, which means <clears throat> the shield is a Pokemon. Because we're playing shield. Yep, I was thinking the same thing. Seems like this. Seems like at some point in history, the sword and the shield were combined into two actual Pokemon and treated as the same thing. But then what? They just fade from history? Nah, bitch. I'm telling you, I saw them in the forest. Two young heroes. The sword and the shield were actual Pokemon. But why would the truth of these ruins be hidden? When their stories were depicted in artwork, I don't know, you tell me. With your help, I really feel like we made a big discovery here. Huh? Thanks, I'll give you a couple of these, so get, so you keep up your best in the gym challenge too, okay? Guess you'll be headed to Balloon Balloon Leah next, right? Well, I fucking guess so, but that's no use to me because I'm doing a Nuzlocke run. Biatch. <clears throat> so, I take Chris and I move on. Give me that bike. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And as we move on, guys, um, again, we already caught our Pokemon in this uh, area. So we're just going to try to move on as fast as we can. Avoid as much unnecessary battles as necessary. Uh, Excuse me. But we're clearly gonna have to battle these two at least. The railways are amazing. They can carry lots of people and Pokemon at once. I came to ride the Gatlar train. I wonder if meeting you will challenge my life. Um, we'll challenge you in a way. But, uh, I mean, I don't know in what way you think I would challenge you. So, clearly, we have Kiss and Conquer, and we do not want to fight that Ninetales in any way, shape, or manner. So, we're going to go ahead and headbutt the Ninetales, and we're going to go ahead and switch out to Elvis. <laughs> And let's hope, uh, fucking El uh, little kiss doesn't get demolished. Alright, so Nine Tails flinch. Curlia uses life do. Ooh, whoop de fucking do. And we're gonna ancient power Nine Tails. Cause that's not gonna kill. Cinerite hits both, which doesn't do much. Curly or Calm Minds, and we use Ancient Power. Do we get the boost? Give me the boost, biatch. We don't get the boost. So, we will headbutt to get the flinch, and we will Ancient Power. Oh, and it's a one-hit knockout to the Curlia. Curlia didn't stand a fucking chance. And it goes down. A good way to forget the trouble of this loss would be to ride the train. Yeah, I bet your wife would love to ride the train. So, I'm just going to go ahead and move on here. Ding, ding, ding. So, um, I know the gym is going to be about level 38, so I actually will go back to the forest and fight all the trainers there. As much as I wish I didn't have to, I will. But that's just what I got to do. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Jesus Christ. 
So we have our level 36. Um, being replaced by Sod, obviously. And we gotta go back and battle as many trains as we can inside the forest. And then we can start challenging the gym leader. Hey, hello, how you doing, Michaela? I'm doing great. Uh, I'm just over here trying to complete a Nuzlocke run of Pokemon Shield. Hopefully I can complete that. And thank you for viewing in your free time. I very much really appreciate it. And as we start, we will challenge this lady here, and hopefully we can get some EXP for our Pokemon to challenge this gym and move on on our way to become great Pokemon champions. And we're going to go ahead and use Acid here. The Simon Voice does nothing. Excuse me. Acid is the play we're doing no matter what. I really wish I could show off my uh, Gen 4 playthrough. Oh shit! That psychic attack really nailed us. Good thing it didn't take us out. And Sod grows to level 34 with no problems. And of course, indeed, he's coming in, so we're going to go ahead and switch out. It is Psychic Normal type, so obviously, Conquer is not going to be super effective, but I feel like it will do a great amount of damage to get that thing out of our face, out of our way, and ready to go move on to the next challenge. And it's a one-hit KO with Iron Head. Madame Jelly, you fat whore, stay out of our way so we can move on with our challenge. And we're going to use Freshwater to level up. I mean, oh, I thought. But, um, yeah. Uh, get sod up to the level of health that we need him to be. And uh, we'll continue on with what we can here. And see what to do about moving on with the story. Oh, look at that. There's a fucking impidimp. And a soup connoisseur. Who loves mushrooms. We're just going to have to wreck his fucking day here. Milkery. I'll, mil I'll milkery on your mother. Alright. So we have milkery in front of the side. We're going to go ahead and acid. Ooh. Almost a one hit KO. It goes for the tract. Uh, let's see how... Oh, we are immobilized by love. But that does nothing since we're a poison type. And he shoots the acid off in Milkery's face. And we can move on from this atrocity of a Pokemon. It's just... It's just milk. That's what it is. It's Milkery. So, now, we get to fight um, Sinus T. And we're going to go ahead and spark it. Because it's close to 420. Nah, I mean. And it's a one hit KO. Tea time is over. It's weed time, baby. Since we just sparked it. And Shenotics is going to come in. So we're going to go ahead and just do an acid that's four times effective. And it should be a one hit KO. And if it's not, then that's a bulky bitch. Yeah, it's a bulky bitch. But Giga Drain doesn't do enough. Not nearly, and we can go ahead and knock it out with one more acid and move on with our freaking lives because none of the Pokemon he threw out were anywhere near important because we already have our encounter in this forest and we are good. 
So, as we progress and move on, obviously we come this way. And we light up the way. It's a maniac, maniac on the flow. He's lighting up mushrooms like he never has before. Yeah, we're lighting up mushrooms over here like a mussucker. Look at that. Mmm, we're getting all that light, baby. Give us all that light. After that change of shit, we still gotta go through everything. Oh, that's on. That's on. Alright, we gotta go this way, clearly. Oh, nope. Oh, shit. There's something I'm missing. Alright, we gotta get up there some way. We can't go that way. Oh, there we go. Morgrims wants to fight us. <clears throat> we'll take out the Morgrim and then we can proceed on. Oh shit, I didn't realize our health was that low. So we're gonna go ahead and heal up. Cause we don't wanna move a po lose a Pokemon that soon. Oh no, I didn't wanna run. Ooh, that would have been some shite. So Kiss, let's go ahead and bring you in. You dumb piece of shite. Obviously resist that. And we can go ahead and Night Slash. Oh, and that's not nearly enough. We need a headbutt. Yes, yeah, dark time. God damn it. Push the wrong button. But it's okay, because it didn't do nothing to hurt us in the long run. So we're going to go ahead and take out this Morgrim, and we're going to move on on our way. And try to get that TM that was up top, and actually fuck some shit up. Luminous Moss. So that really only helps if it's a... If it's blah, blah, blah. If it's a water type that attacks us. But, you know, U turn is always great for any Pokemon that we have. As long as it can learn it. Also, guys, do not forget if you're watching this, I do have a Pokemon Floral Sky that is going to be ready and going as soon as I could possibly upload it. And it will be ready for all to see as soon as possible. So, Conquer can learn U-Turn. Let's see what Pokemon it knows. I mean, yeah. Let's see what moves it knows. Nothing that I would want to put U-Turn in for. So, we're going to just stick with what we have and fucking keep on going. And if anyone wants to know a funny story, um, here it is. So, tonight... I went fishing, because that's the southern Texan boy I am. I went fishing. Oh, shit. Hold on. Marnie wants to talk to us about gem badges and how she's weary of us learning so much about Pokemon gem battles. But yet, she gives us her league card because we rocked her ass into another world dimension or whatever she likes. And that's just that. So anyways, so I was fishing tonight, right? And the lake I went to, um, I went 
to go get some more worms, and they were like, oh, you can't get more worms right now, it's too late, and I was like, well, okay, I need to go pick my, cup. I need to go pick up my brother, though, and then they were like, oh, you can't pick up your brother right now, we're closed, but you can go walk to get him, and it was like, the fuck are you talking about, I can go walk to get him. Which annoyed the shit out of me, but I mean, I guess there's nothing really I could have fucking done about it because the gate was automatic, I couldn't open it myself. So I just kind of had to fucking, uh, deal with it. So anyway. Did all that nonsense. I'm gonna switch that there. Did all that nonsense and kind of just had to deal, you know? Oh, I mean, what else can a Mexican do? Mexican who lives in Texas. What else can you do? Except deal. So. Um. Tried to. I had to walk. It fucking sucked. But I had to walk. All the way. Just to go tell my brother. Hey, we gotta go walk back to the car. Walk back with all our shit. And yeah, it was fucking annoying, but you know, what you gonna do? Anyway, so we do all that stuff and we walk back and we do what we gotta do. Uh, yeah, it's both stupid. Ugh, special attack rules ain't shit. Fuck your cotton guard. We're gonna knock your ass out anyway. So. Anyway. that That's just the kind of shit you gotta deal with. I mean, I'm a fucking white boy. Or oh, we're closed. It's like, I gotta go pick up my brother. And they're like, uh. Oh, I mean, you can walk, but we're closed. I mean, I don't know what we want. And the fucked up shit is that they closed early, so it's like, man, go fuck yourself. You don't tell me that you're closed, yet you fucking clocked out two to three minutes earlier. I can't do that shit, so why the fuck can you? It just makes no sense. Now go fuck yourself, Swirlix. Ironhead's gonna eat your ass. But that is the life we live in, and we have no choice about it but to deal with it. Oh, boy. I mean, yeah, so. I mean, I, I, yeah, I can do about it. No complaints I have. Question, what is the previous trainer's name? Annette. Yeah, I don't, I didn't pay attention, but I'm, I took a hell of a guess. And that speed boost is going to be enough to knock out this bitch. Hell yeah, boy. I'm probably just going to get to do this gym. And then, um. Y'all just going to have to wait for me to get through the next gym. <coughs> we still have like three more gyms to go after this. And Opal really needs to figure out who the real gym replacement is going to be. Trainer Theodora. I do not remember what the fuck Annette likes to do, so it, it might be a struggle. It might not be. We'll just have to figure it out in our own time. So he goes for the draining kiss, doesn't do shit to us. We go for the iron head, and we knock it the fuck out. <coughs> Excuse me. What do I eat before breakfast every morning? Omelets. I took a fucking guess. So our speed boost is still good to go. And we're going to go ahead and iron head this biatch. Even with our... Oh, almost. Even with our attack lowered, we almost one hit KO this Gardevoir.
And there we go. We took out that Gardevoir and we're still going. And Joe told me uh, he's open to co-streaming, so we might co-stream some stuff. Hold on one second, guys. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of Spark and get Discharge in. Because uh, that special attack stat is going to really help us in the end. And Theodora, the dumb broad, is going to get out of our fucking way so we can get on to Opal. And beat that bitch into the ground. Hell yeah, baby. So, um, if y'all don't mind staying on to help me figure out what the hell's going on, because I didn't really... I didn't really pay attention to what the fuck they were doing. Like, uh, the answer to the questions and stuff. I don't mean to be so vulgar, but... I mean, it's my thing. I curse. Oh well. But... I really wasn't expecting to pay attention to questions that they were asking, and it might fuck me over later. So, um, if y'all could help me out here, that'd be great. Great! Like Frosted Flakes. They're more than good, they're great. Um, yeah, there's no fucking way I'm gonna leave that thing up front. So we're going to go ahead and just leave a Berserker up front. And we're going to fart shit up as we can. <coughs> Excuse me. Oof. She didn't even waste her time walking up to the fucking stadium. She already knew we were coming. I suppose it's a quite light to introduce myself, but I'm Opal, the gym leader. I've gotten good a good look at how you've handled those quizzes, so the last part of the mission is me. Let me have a look at how you and your partner Pokemon be. Uh, basically, she's gonna she's gonna try and fuck me in the ass to gain the upper hand to kick my butt in this battle. We four, we four times. Well, excuse me. We resist its fairy typing, and we fully resist poison typing. So this reason can eat my ass. And then the Mawile is coming out, so we're going to go ahead and send out Elvis to use our firepower. Firepower. And we're going to fucking flame charge this whore out of existence, even with your Intimidate. Do you know my nickname? The Wizard. Ding, ding, ding! I fucking guessed. And Flame Charge is gonna do it. Excuse me. I didn't mean to knock my goddamn headset off, but it's gonna do a lot of fucking damage. Iron defense is a pain. We 
that cringe ain't gonna do shit. So yeah. <coughs> what is my favorite color? Alright guys. So popular opinion is pink, but it's actually purple. Give me that, bitch. Give me that. Mm. Give me that, yeah. Give me that. Alright, she got Tokyo's coming in. And we gotta fuck that thing up. Jerky coming in against Togekiss. And, uh, we're gonna fucking max still spike this hoe. That's what we're gonna do. Shit, biatch. And Togekiss goes down. And we got all of our other shit going in. Elvis, we don't need you to know shit right now. Fuck you, Stealth Rocks. We're going in balls deep into this motherfucker. Max Steel Spock, boy! Are you prepared? I'm going to have some fun with this! Yeah, I'm ready. You old bitch, you can't even throw a Pokeball anymore. Notice it has all the little bullshit that it takes to evolve an out creamy on the cake. You like pink. Here, let's just give you some. You can eat this dick, whore. Ha! Ah, didn't do shit. And down you go. Max Finale to suck these nuts. Max Tool Spike takes you out, and we defeat the fairy gem leader. Because we are real steel, bitch. And we will do it anything at all costs to win the gym battle. So Opal goes down, she comes to the middle of the court to give us a little gym badge, but fuck her gym badge, cause we can do without it. Yeah, thanks Brad. Give us the badge so we can leave. Look at them shades. She ain't seeing into our soul. Our soul is safe. The, sh the, the secret is the shades, baby. Yeah, whatever she said. I don't, I don't fucking know. The next gym waits for the Churchester. Where the fucking next gym is, dumb whore. Alright, we got some story to go through. Hold on now! I've got a few errands to run in Hammerlock. Care to join me for your journey? If you are headed to the gym stadium, you'll need to get to Hammerlock, right? I, I fucking guess. I mean, sure. 
Are you the last gym I gotta face? Cause I mean, I I don't think I faced all of you. Camelock, always such a dusty town. So I suppose Pokemon prefer it that way. Sure, twat. Whatever. I mean, if that's what you prefer, I guess that's what you prefer. But I'm gonna go ahead and know my Pokemon, guys. And that is it for the stream. I know it wasn't a very long one, but it was um necessary in a way. And um, I probably will be back soon. Uh, Joe Sylvester does want me to stream with him doing live raids, and that would be on my personal account. So if y'all care to join me, uh, make sure y'all have my FC, and I will see you guys next time. Love you, peace be with you, and that's all I can say. Deuces.